Hi students and welcome to this really quick uh, run through of our virtual classroom environment. What I want to do is just show you a few of the basic functions for what to do once you get logged in and to set up your audio from there we'll do some little orientation sessions where you can find your way around um, as well and of course it's going to make a lot more sense when there are more people logged in using it together. The first thing that you should see when you log in is one of these welcome screens and do just follow these steps. It says on arrival to the room click on the meeting menu at the top left and select the audio setup wizard. It's really important for you to do this um, because that will just mean that you'll be able to hear me properly and if I turn your microphone on um, you'll be able to talk back to me and the group as well. So that's up in our meeting menu which you can see up here going into the audio setup wizard um, there's a few steps that you do to go through that. I think it's about four steps, um, but that will just help configure your computer and the, um, the microphone and camera that you're using as well. Um, you also don't need to share your um, vision with us if you don't want us to see you in your pyjamas or anything. That's totally cool. Um, so the let's go through these instructions it says to use your microphone you need to click on the microphone icon which is up the top I'll circle it here with my um, with my mouse and you'll see it pulsing away as I'm talking there um, I might have microphones uh, turned off particularly when we start just so that there's no kind of clamoring of lots of different people um, and I'll turn on people's microphones as we need to start discussing things or as someone might have a question. Um, number three, there are a number of different signals you can use during a session and they can be found over here in this uh, hand up icon which is just along from the microphone and the webcam. Um, there's a few options here. You can raise your hand. That will show me when you're logged in. Um, I'll have a list of participants at the side and it will show me that you're raising your hand and you want to ask a question. If I might ask a question um, as I'm talking and I'll ask you to either agree or disagree with that and you can just give a quick little response there. Um, if you need to dash away um, because your kid is about to set fire to the house or something, you can use this step away function that will turn off your microphone and it just tells me that you've had to go and deal with something else um, and I won't uh, call on you for any questions or anything. There's a few other signals you can give to me as well, whether I need to speak louder or softer or to speed up um, or slow down. So you can let me know there. And the next thing is number four, the chat box. So the chat box is down here in the bottom left hand corner um, and you can just type into there and everyone should be able to see what you're typing and it gives me a, a sense of what's going on. You can ask questions there. That's the initial setup and uh, some of the, the main functions we'll be using. What will then happen is once people are into the system, we can start talking through some of our content. Um, there's a few things that we can do. So this is a whiteboard um, and you can we can use it collaboratively or I might be putting up some notes uh, here for you to go through. Um, in a section like this, uh, I might ask you to contribute to a question that I've put up here and um, I'll get you to use a type tool or a drawing tool and you can contribute in here and you might say, um, here we go, I'm going to put my favourite artist Colwitz in the, uh, the uh, gestural box there. Um, and you can also use drawing tools here. Tools here. I'm going to select a colour. Maybe everyone might want to have a little kind of a different colour in the room. Um, and I'll choose the type that I'm going with. And you might be able to, to draw something on here, or I might ask you to indicate your preference. And you might just put it like a little X or a mark in different boxes on on the screen. Um, the other thing that we'll be doing is either I can be sharing my screen and showing you something that I'm doing um, on the computer, like I'm doing now, very meta, um, or I might be sharing a document, going through things like um, images and presentations where I would be talking through the content like we would do in a normal class, 
um, advancing through slides, we could also be discussing these as we go. So this is just a, a sample of the creative thinking techniques that I chatted to the diploma students about. And um, and yeah, you can be chiming in, in the, either in the chat, you can be raising your hand uh, virtually to give me a signal that you've got something to say, and I could turn your microphone on um, and we can have a chat that way as well. So there's a lot of things that we can be doing in our virtual classroom um, combined with other video notes and, um, and handouts that I'll be doing as well as just being able to check in so that you can show me work that you've been doing, uh, getting a little bit of feedback, getting clarification on things that you're not sure of. So log in, get yourself familiar and uh, join into one of the test sessions and um, it'll become much, much easier once we get it going with people in the rooms. Cheers.